Tonight, we want to come from 1 Samuel, the 15th chapter. 1 Samuel, the 15th chapter. And tonight, I want to talk about it's time to totally surrender to God. We have too many uh, people of God that confess Christ, but they live like the devil. Mr. First Samuel 15, starting at the 10th verse. We have too many people that confess Christ, that he's the head of their life, and he's their savior, but they live like the devil. Even Jesus said, I always do those things that pleases my father. Jesus was always mindful of how he carried himself because he was representing his father. And some of us say Jesus is our guide, he's our protector, he's our leader, but we don't act like it. Uh-huh. We don't keep his commandments. We don't abide by the word that he told us to abide by. We're not governed according to the word of God. We we're doing our own thing. We're going by establishing our own righteousness. And I want you to know tonight, there's going to be a difference between those that do and those that don't. There's a difference between those that in and those that out. There's going to be a difference from those that are up versus those that are down. Those that were totally surrender, and those that straddle the fence. In fact, he said, I'd rather you're hot or cold. If so, I'll spirit you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. The Lord don't want lukewarm Christians. He wants those that are totally surrendered, all the way in, totally submitted. The songwriter said, 99 and a half just won't do. And so here tonight in our story, we're going to talk about how Saul desired to be in position. Some of you all desire position because you are so crazy about power. You, you, you know, you're so fascinated with power. You're so fascinated in how it look. It's still a living something. You're so fascinated with uh -huh, being popular rather than being submitted. And I wonder tonight, how many on this line tonight really worried about presentation instead of worried about presence, being in his presence. So many times we, you know, we want the finer things of life. There ain't nothing wrong with that, but he said, if you acknowledge thee in all thy ways, mm -hmm. I will surely direct your path. He told us in uh, uh, John the 15th chapter that you cannot do nothing without me. Mm -hmm. And so, if he don't move, it won't be done. If he don't open the way, won't nothing happen. He said you can get money and your money will be like a bag with holes in it. And so we have to acknowledge him, put him first. In fact, he told us, uh, our first lady, that we seek ye first mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. Mm -hmm. And he'll add the things unto us. Do we seek him? Are mm -hmm. we putting him first? Are we acknowledging him that he's the head of our life? He's the captain of the ship. And so here it is, Saul desired to be in position. And the people wanted Saul because the way he looked, because of his appearance. You got to be careful going on what it looked like naturally instead of being able to see spiritually. Sometimes you got to look deeper uh, uh, beyond the serpents at a thing, beyond the serpents. You need to see through the eyes of God. Mm -hmm. How he view a thing. Remember mm -hmm. when the Lord told him how long he told uh, 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 Samuel, how long are you going to sit here and moan? Mm -hmm. Seeing that I rejected Saul. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to take our hand off a thing because mm -hmm. God took his hands off. Right. Some folk been messed up so bad mm -hmm. today at the point of no return. And so the Lord that lift his Holy Spirit off of him, he done took his hands off of him. When he take his hands off, mm -hmm. that means he turned him over to a reprobated mind. Mm -hmm. And some folk walking through this earth today been reprobated. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have discernment, when you don't have the Holy Spirit, when you don't have spiritual insight, 
you can't tell the difference because we're good actors. We're good pretenders. Uh huh. We're good Hollywood actors. We can put on a show. We can pretend. And we can fool the natural man, but you can't fool the spiritual man. So here it is in our story. All right. The people wanted Saul. Mm hmm. Because they figured Samuel was too old, so they wanted Saul. Mm hmm. And so you got to be careful. Sometimes God will give you just what you desire. Mm -hmm. Even if it's the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so they desired him. And so the Lord said, okay. And the Lord even told them the traits of Saul, how he going to use y'all. Mm -hmm. How he going to overtax y'all and how he going to slave y'all. Mm -hmm. And the people said, we still want him. Mm -hmm. It ain't that funny how things work today. It look like everything that's bad, we gravitate to. Mm -hmm. Things that are good, we push away. Mm -hmm. Remember on the cross, mm -hmm. they said, let the murderer go, but kill Jesus. Mm -hmm. Seems as though the one that is right have the hardest times in life. Yes. Those that have a made up mind that they're going to do right, that's what the Bible told us. For him or those that live godly, Mm -hmm. They shall suffer persecution. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. And so if you're not willing to be persecuted, mm. if you're not willing to be lied on, if you're not willing to be talked about, if you're not willing to walk alone, mm -hmm. because sometimes in this walk, people of God, your family will leave you. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. wife or your husband will leave you. Mm -hmm. You got to be at the point of no return. You have to have a made up mind that you go with Jesus if you have to go all by yourself. And so, mm -hmm. the Lord says, since y'all uh, chose Saul, mm -hmm. he told Sandy, go anoint and give him some instructions. I want you to go and I want you to kill everything. Go into the enemy's camp and I want you to kill everything and don't let nothing live. No animal live, no human live, nothing. I want you to burn everything. Do you not know we in the day where the Lord is judging sin? He's dealing with sin. Mm -hmm. Righteousness exalts a nation. Mm -hmm. But sin brings a reproach on any people. And so we're in the middle of judgment where God is judging and visiting the sins of, our, of the people. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, I wonder, where do you stand? What side are you on? Are you on the good side of God or are you on the evil side? A decision has to be made. A determination has to be rendered. And so we're going to pick it up at the 10th verse because Saul disobeyed God. You got to be careful uh, trying to fit in with the crowd. You got to be careful trying to be a people pleaser mm -hmm. because those who the Lord used... He said, come ye out from amongst them, mm -hmm. and be ye separated. When the Lord get ready to really use you, he'll separate you from folk. Mm -hmm. And if you're not willing to be alone, and you're not willing to go separate yourself, he, mm -hmm. Moses went to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. He separated himself to get before God in the burning bush so God can deal with him. Sometimes he pull you away from the crowd mm -hmm. so he can deal with you. Are you willing to sit by yourself? Are you willing to go into your secret closet yeah. and let him deal with you all alone? And so, uh, starting at the 10th verse, it says, Then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel, saying, It repented me that I have set up Saul to be king for he is turned back from following me. You made him king, and he won't even follow the Lord. Ain't that how it do? We set up people that don't like God. We mm -hmm. set up our, our leaders and, and politicians that don't have the slightest clue about the Lord. Jesus said, if you acknowledge me in all thy ways, I direct your path. Mm -hmm. We set up people that don't have the spirit of Christ. Don't love God's people. Have no no understanding of the word. They going by how they think it ought to go. They establishing their own righteousness. 
We have to be careful who we allow to be over us, who we allow to be in place, whether it's naturally or spiritually. Uh, and so he said, you know, I repent me that I have set up Saul to be king, for he turned back and followed me and had not performed my commandments. Mm -hmm. And he grieved Samuel, and he cried unto the Lord all night. Do you not know a real leader when he spot uh, 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 somebody that's shady, it grieves him. A real leader care about the people. He said, my sheep know my voice, and a stranger he would not follow. The Lord said, I've given you pastors after my own heart that will feed you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He gives you a leader that really have the heart for the people. And when you got a real leader and he sees somebody faking and shaking, he grieves it because he don't want the sheep to be tainted. Mm -hmm. He don't want the sheep sold to be played with. And so it grieved him. He cried all night mm -hmm. when he seen who was in position, but the people couldn't see. So Samuel seen and he grieved all night crying before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, please help the people. Yeah. And I don't know about y'all, but a true leader cried on behalf of the people, mm -hmm. knowing they're going astray. Mm -hmm. This is why he gave the sheep a shepherd that would steer them in the right way. Mm -hmm. And some folk, not good shepherds, they'll let anything go on. Mm -hmm. And so here it is, Samuel cried all night mm -hmm. because he knew that Saul had the wrong motive. And so Saul came, and so and Samuel, and when Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning, mm -hmm. it was told Samuel saying, Saul came to Carmel, and behold, he set him up a place, and he's about he's gone about, and he passed on, and he gone down to Gilgal. And Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou of the Lord. I have performed the commandments of the Lord. Do you not know when you put the right per the wrong person in position, they're lying to you? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. When you put the wrong person in position, they are camouflage the truth. Mm -hmm. They want to hide the truth from you. Uh-huh. Yeah, they want to act like they rule it. They want to act like they with God. Mm -hmm. First thing he addressed him was a uh, 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 man of God. You see, that's what happened in the body of Christ in church. We go through the motions. Mm -hmm. We know what to say and how to say it. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is looking at your heart. Mm -hmm. Is your heart really lined up with the word of God? Mm -hmm. Do you have the right intentions? Are you just going through the motions just to fool the people. Mm -hmm. And this was happening today. So many folk are getting fooled and tricked because they don't have discernment. Too many folk in position that God hadn't put in position. Mm -hmm. they, the Bible said you have wolves in sheep clothing. Mm -hmm. And so you have to have discernment to tell the difference. Sometimes you view them as a sheep, but really they're wolf. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so he went down and, and immediately Saul said, Blessed be thou mm -hmm. of the Lord. I done performed, I done did all the Lord told me to do. Mm -hmm. Which was a lie. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have discernment, you'll believe a lie. Mm -hmm. Because it look all together. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And sometimes what happens, people of God, sometimes they'll put a, 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 a little truth mm -hmm. with a lot of lie. And that's how they serve it up to you because you'll believe it because they, 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 they came with a little truth, mm -hmm. but they added some lie in there. Mm -hmm. And so this is what happened. So, and Samuel said, what meaning this, the, what meaning then this bleeding, this bleeding of the sheep in my ear and the lowing of the oxen, which I hear. And Saul said, they have bought them from the Amalites, Amalites. For the people spread the beasts, and people stabbed the beasts, excuse me, of the sheep and of the oxen. 
to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. And the rest we have utterly destroyed. Mm -hmm. Then Samuel said unto Saul, Stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord said to me this night. And he said unto him, Say on. You see, you got to be careful hiding behind a lie, mm -hmm. thinking you'll never be found out. But let me tell you something, truth crushed to the ground will rise again. A lie will die, but truth crushed to the ground will surely rise again. This is why you have to be on the right side of God. You have to be on the right side of the fence. And so Saul here, he lied to Samuel. Not understanding that Samuel was a spiritual man. He could see clean through him. When you're around spiritual folk, you can't lie. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can't play the harlot. You can't play the fit. You right. got to really be careful how you govern yourself around true leaders. Mm -hmm. Because do you not know that's what happened to Ananias and Sapphires? They came before the man of God and fell dead behind life. Mm -hmm. When judgment is up on a thing, a lie, your lie will kill you. That will be your death sentence. Mm -hmm. Life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. You'll speak death over yourself. And so he said, we did the strong. Mm -hmm. We've done everything the Lord told us to do. Mm -hmm. When he found out that he was being exposed, mm -hmm. then he changed the conversation. Mm -hmm. Well, I did right, but the people didn't. Mm -hmm. Ain't it funny how we make excuses mm -hmm. when we try to backtrack our lie? He making excuses. Now, now he want to pinpoint the people. Mm -hmm. The same ones who wanted him, he throwing them under the bus. Mm -hmm. Be careful who you put in position. Mm -hmm. Be careful who you give your arms to. Be careful who you yield your members to. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I'm going somewhere with this. Uh-huh. And so uh, I'm on the 17th verse. And Samuel said, when thou was little in thy own sight. In other words, when you were nothing, when you weren't even thought of, nobody knew your name. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew nothing about you. The Lord looked after you. Ain't it funny how when you was unknown, you would walk humbly? Mm -hmm. You had a different mindset, a different heart. But when you get in position and you get full of pride, you forget about them humble days. Mm -hmm. And you want to rule with an iron fist. Uh -huh. You want pride to rise up. And you put everybody under your feet. Ain't the how it is in today's time? People forget who helped them up the ladder. Mm -hmm. They quit to talk about you and thank you nothing because they got a little position or they got a little finances or, or they got two cents more than you do. And so now they want to rise up and, and, and say, who is she? Mm -hmm. They want to snare their nose up at you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, am I? Am I? You want 17? Okay. And the Lord sent thee on a journey mm -hmm. and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners, the Amalek. The Lord told Samuel, I want you to go to the Amalek and destroy them sinners. Saul. Told Saul. Yeah, told Saul, I want you to go to Amalek and destroy them sinners. Mm -hmm. Don't leave nobody alive. Nobody. Do you not know? In this day and time, the Lord avenges us against the sinners. The Lord is destroying the work of the evil one. Mm -hmm. And you got to be careful that you don't side with the wrong side. Mm -hmm. And so he said, now go. Mm -hmm. He told him what to do. Gave him specific instructions. But watch this here. He said, now, uh, 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 wherefore, then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but didst fly upon the spars, and didst evil in the sight of the Lord? And Saul said, 
unto Samuel. Yeah, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord. Still alive. Mm -hmm. I obeyed the voice of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And have gone the way which the Lord sent me. And have bought Agag, the king of Amalek. Amalek. And have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. But the people took the spawn. It wasn't me, it was the people. Mm -hmm. He said the people took the spawn. The, the sheep and the oxen, the chief of the things, which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God of Gilgal. Mm -hmm. And Samuel said, Had the Lord as great, hadn't the Lord had as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices mm -hmm. as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. We got to be careful trying to make excuses instead of saying, Lord, I'm sorry, I messed up. Give me a second chance. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need your help. All right. I disobeyed you. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes. But when you full of pride, Mm -hmm. When you so hard hearted, you would throw everybody else under the bus and try to cover yourself. Mm -hmm. But the Lord see clean through you. Mm -hmm. He told him, you were nothing. You were little in the sight. Mm -hmm. And the Lord allowed you to get in position over these people. Mm -hmm. And he gave you a commandment. And you can obey the smallest of things. Yeah. Watch this. Had the Lord as a great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of the ram. Let me tell you something. A lot of times, if you obey, you may not have to sacrifice. What? Because your obedience is better than your offering. Yes. Your obedience is better than any money, any good deed. Mm-hmm. Any idea you can come up with. The Lord is looking for people that would obey his voice. Yes. And do what he tells you to do. Yes. But watch this here. I'm on a. And Saul said unto Samuel. I have sinned. Since he's been, he been caught up with. Mm -hmm. Since he's been exposed. Now he want to be honest. Mm -hmm. And look what he say. And Saul said unto Samuel. I have sinned. But I have transgressed the commandments of the Lord and thy words because, here we go, here we go, here's the, my message now. Because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Mm -hmm. Now therefore I pray thee, pardon my sin and turn again with me that I may worship the Lord. And Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee. But thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord had rejected thee from being king over Israel. And as Samuel turned about to go away, he laid a, a hold upon the skirt of his mantle and rent it. Saul testified, I know what you told me, Lord, but I obeyed people rather than obeyed you because mm -hmm. I wanted to be in popularity. I wanted to be in good and cahoots with the people. So I disobeyed you. And that's how it is today. I wonder, are you going to obey God or are you going to obey man? Some of us is more worried about being popular rather than being patient. Mm -hmm. Some of us want to be popular rather than being obedient to God. Mm -hmm. When God tell you to do something, I don't care what you think about it. He wants you to totally obey. Mm -hmm. And so Saul here said, Lord, I would have done what you told me to do, but the people, I feared the people more than I feared you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, I feared what I could see with my natural eye, mm -hmm. and I neglected what I could see with my spiritual eye. Mm -hmm. I feared the one that can harm the body. But I didn't fear the one that could harm the body and the soul. Mm -hmm. Some of us play with God too long. Mm -hmm. We ride on, all we got to do is repent. Mm -hmm. God is a merciful God. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, he is all of that. But you forget the part where he say, must we continue in sin? Uh -huh. God forbid. What? You got to stop what you're doing. Yes. You got to do an about face. I've always tell, tell you that you better turn before you burn. Uh -huh. Because some of us are headed down a dead end street. Uh -huh. We're on a slippery slope because we hadn't totally surrendered to Jesus. We trying to, on Monday through Friday, uh, uh, be in the world, and on Sunday or Saturday, we want to be in church. It don't work like that. Do you not know there's an angel uh, 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 writing down everything you do? The Bible mm -hmm. says the books were open mm -hmm. and the reports are read. And if your name is not found in the Lamb Book of Life, mm -hmm. it's funny how, to me, when I read this story the other day, how the one that they chose always threw them up under the bus. Mm -hmm. He didn't care nothing about them. He kept standing before Sandy talking about them. Mm -hmm. That it was them that did it. Mm -hmm. We got to be careful always saying the devil made me do it. We want to make excuses instead of being accountable for our offenses. Mm -hmm. Being accountable for our actions. Mm -hmm. Do you not know the Lord already know you trying to fool a man to know every strength I have on your head. Mm -hmm. He beholding the evil and the good. He see your very intentions. Yes, he do. You can't trick him nor fool him. Mm -mm. He said, I want you to go into the sinners mm -hmm. and I want you to kill all of them. Mm -hmm. Do you not know the Lord is judging the sinner man? Mm -hmm. Folk are dying by the dozen mm -hmm. because they told God no. They turned their back on God. I watch people from the poor pit to the back door mm -hmm. can quote scripture, yep. confess Christ, mm -hmm. but they don't want to live according to the scripture. Mm -hmm. God is not impressed with your scripture quote. Nope. He told us you can have tongues and men of angels, mm -hmm. yep. but if you don't have God, which is love, you're nothing mm -hmm. but a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Mm -hmm. He told us you can have the gift of prophecy. Mm -hmm. You can understand all mystery and all knowledge. You can even have all faith so they can remove mountains. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have God, you're nothing. How many nothings today in the poor pit? How many nothings singing in the choir? How many nothings on the Ursha board? Mm -hmm. Going through the motion, fooling people, but in trouble with God. Mm -hmm. The day of judgment is upon us. Mm -hmm. And he's going through the land, killing everything that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. And Saul, at the last moment, asked Samuel, go before your God and repent. Saul couldn't go because he wasn't clean. Hmm. He knew his hands was dirty. Mm -hmm. So he begged Samuel to go on his behalf and repent for me. And Samuel said, I certainly will not because you rejected the Lord. He going to reject you. And he took him out of position. Let me tell you something. Saul reigned for many years. Mm -hmm. But he was in position for only two years. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens to the church. Just because you've been in position don't mean you ain't been fired. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. The Lord is the only man I know will fire you and let you keep working. Mm -hmm. You think you're all right because you're quoting scripture. You think you're all right because you're shouting. You think you're all right because you're speaking in tongues. You think you're all right because you're singing in the choir. But you could be fired. But he let you keep working. He prepared David. And when he sent Samuel over there to anoint David, David didn't get in position right away. David had to learn through the years how to live in, 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 in royalty. He had to learn the position. But he was anointed for it years before he actually walked in it. Be careful how you want to rush yourself up front. How you so hell bent to get power. Be careful how you get so hungry behind material things. Mm -hmm. How you so thirsty for power. 
and filthy lucre. That could be your death sentence. He said it's better to obey God than to obey man. Mm -hmm. And it's better to obey God than to give sacrifices. Some folks think they can buy their way to heaven. I come by to tell you tonight, you sadly mistaken. I got to tell you, hell, you're going to lift your eyes. There's only one way in, and that's through the front door. You can't come like Nicodemus at night. You must come in through the door. Saul said, I messed up because I gave the people what they wanted. I rejected God because I wanted to please the people. And so many of us are scared of people, but we're not scared of God. I want you to examine yourself tonight as I get ready to end this message. Are you more afraid of God or your boss? Where your loyalty lies? I want to know tonight. Have you done all that the Lord told you to do? Are you busy pleasing people? You one that don't want to go against the grain because you don't want to upset nobody. You don't want to ruffle no feathers. And so you go along to get along because you want to be popular with the people. You want to be in good standings with your friends. And so the Lord can't use you to prophesy to the friend and tell them to get back in line with me because it's, it, it's hard trying to prophesy to a people when you're doing the same thing they're doing. The Lord is calling for real soldiers. He's calling for those that have a yes in their mouth. That were told to surrender. If, he, if you got to rebuke your mama, if you got to rebuke your daddy, God is looking for somebody that represent him. Matter of fact, Jesus said, who is my mother? Who is my father? Only the one that do my will. I'm not interested in blood relations. I'm interested in the blood of Jesus. I want to know tonight. Are your allegiance to God or is it the man? Where do your respect lies at tonight? Where do your loyalty lie at tonight? Is it with God? Or is it with me? Only you can answer that. But I will ask you tonight to be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Least be honest with yourself. Because the sinner man is in trouble tonight. The order was to kill every sinner of their tribe. Kill everything attached to them. Because if you leave one alive, they'll contaminate. The, the old folks would say one bad apple mm -hmm. will spoil a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. So kill everything. Don't let nothing live so they can't go contaminate the next cat. Mm -hmm. The Lord is looking and booking. Mm -hmm. He's checking tonight. I wonder tonight where you stay. Mm -hmm. Self-evaluate. The word of God said, consider your ways. Mm -hmm. Before it's too late. And I found out, people of God, as I get ready to sign off, I found out if you check yourself, God don't have to. Amen. If you consider, if you tell him you're sorry, you messed up, if you acknowledge the wrong that you've done and straighten it up, He's merciful. He's faithful and just to forgive you. Mm -hmm. But I want you tonight, I want you to know tonight, his love do not overrule his justice. Mm -hmm. He wants you to surrender. He wants you to submit. Mm -hmm. He wants you to follow the word of God in obedience. And not only you, but your house. Say, for me and my house, mm -hmm. 
we gonna serve the Lord, not just me, but my house. Mm -hmm. Gonna come in divine alignment with the word of God. This is how you get the blessings in your house. Mm -hmm. This is how the favor of God rests upon your house. Mm -hmm. When you honor God, he will honor you. Yes. Can't you see here tonight, the Lord says, since you, Saul rejected me, I'm rejecting him. Mm -hmm. If you reject him, if you shame the own me before man, I'll be shamed to own you before my father. Mm -hmm. It's not the devil tonight, it's you. And you have to make an intelligent decision. That's why I played that song, God of a Second Chance. Mm -hmm. Because we all are messed up. We need him to forgive us. Yes. Put us in the place that we used to be in. Sometimes we just get distracted. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just fall off course. But I want you to come back tonight. Mm -hmm. Because he's the God of a second chance. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you for the word tonight. Thank you, Lord. I pray a blessing upon your people. Lord, bless the hearers and the doers of your word. We sit it up over this line tonight, God. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus. First of all, Lord, we repent for any sin we may have committed. We repent for going astray, God. We yes, repent God. for dibbling and dabbling with sin, God. God, restore us to the place we once were. We want to do the thing that pleases you. We want to be acceptable in thy sight. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you tonight to have mercy. Have mercy on your people. Yes, I thank you, Father, for your people. I thank you for the word. And I know you know shorter than your word. I thank you tonight, man. In thy son Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray and ask it all. Amen. 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 God of the